Hi, a lot of my friends have asked how I make these lollipops, so I thought I'd put together this little video. These are the ingredients you'll need. One cup of sugar. One half cup of light corn syrup. Loran flavoring, which is optional, you can make it without. Plastic wrap. Hard candy lollipop molds. Lollipop sticks. A microwave safe bowl, preferably with a spout. Fork or butter knife. I usually use a clean one each time it comes out of the microwave. Be very careful, the steam is hot and the candy is like lava. Don't get it on you. So let's get to making lollipops. Half cup of sugar, half cup of corn syrup. Mix the two together and then you'll want to cover the top with plastic wrap. Cover the entire top of the container with plastic wrap so that it's secure and the steam can't escape. Put it in the microwave for three minutes. I like to use regular lollipop sticks, so put your lollipop sticks in the molds while the candy's cooking. Okay, it's been in the microwave for three minutes. I've just removed it. I removed the plastic wrap from the top with a butter knife and then stirred it with another clean butter knife. Then I replaced clean plastic wrap over the top tightly so that it would hold in the steam. And now I'm going to put it back in the microwave for another three minutes. Lollipop molds are white rather than clear. The chocolate molds are the clear molds. The hard candy lollipop molds are white. They're a little harder to find. Cake and Wedding Cottage here in Baltimore in the Fullerton area, um, Beltway Plaza, I believe it's called. They sell some, and they also have these flavorings, the uh, Loran or Lorraine flavorings. I've been using these since I was a kid to make hard candy, and they're really great. Um, the cinnamon is my favorite. You're supposed to use a half a drum, which is like a half a teaspoon of this for each batch in the microwave and when I make cinnamon I use a whole drum uh, and it is like really hot like a fireball but um, anyway you can get this any of this stuff like these molds came from the cake and wedding cottage and the flavoring came from the cake and wedding cottage and then there's a ton of places online even Amazon and eBay I've bought molds from so now it is on the last minute in the microwave and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out I'm going to stir it again and then quickly put in the uh, half a teaspoon of flavoring. Okay, so now it's out of the microwave for the second time. Stir it. Let me see if I can get this camera angle a little bit better. Then you want to add a half a teaspoon of flavoring. And the grape is already purple, so I'm hoping that I don't have to add any more coloring to it. That's pretty dark. And then you start to pour into the molds. You kind of have to do it slow so that you don't over pour. Here they are, cooled and ready to pop out of the mold. And they come out beautiful. These are going to be for my friend's daughter's birthday party, and I think she's going to love them.
Here are the purple lollipops as I'm putting them into baggies. And here are the pink lollipops, raspberry flavored. Here's the finished product. I have them in the baggies with the ribbons and the tags and they look perfect for her birthday party. Here are a few more I've made. These are graduation lollipops I made for my daughter's graduation a few weeks ago. Hope ribbon lollipops. I made these in purple for Chiari Malformation. Hearts in my high school colors. The school mascot, the panther pop. Molds come in all shapes, characters, and sizes nowadays. You can also use this recipe to make hard candy. Here's hard candy made with the same recipe and then tossed in powdered sugar. I like to put it into mason jars and give it as gifts. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Have a great day.